Hey, so this is going to be a little bit of a different reading and um, we'll see how it goes and it's a little bit of an experiment. So um, yeah, uh, thanks for being here with me and um, let's get started. I'm going to just shuffle these cards and um, pull from the entire deck um, and for each card I'm going to paint, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to paint, so it's going to be just based on colors and numbers, and um, it's similar, I guess, you know, to, uh, well, just giving yourself limits or something to work within, so, um, yeah, uh, let's get started, <laughs> see how this goes, and, um, yeah. And I really don't think I've even like picked up a paintbrush <laughs> in, in like a year. So um, yeah, it could be interesting. But either way, I'm going to be telling you what the cards mean um, as they come out in random order. So you can see how they may, um, maybe the progression is will apply to you or um, just you know something I say. And yeah, so it's a ton of cups. And so I guess we'll just start there, ten of cups. So, kind of an orangey, reddish kind of, looks like a sconce or some sort of like at a movie theater, but this is usually your happy, uh, happy ending of some sort. Um, a happy completion to something. Um, um, yeah, so happy completion to something, and um, let's see, a little bit of yellow. I feel like, what's his name, Bob? Um, the guy that paints on TV and PBS. Um, I had the strangest experience watching one of those because it's I, I find it very like relaxing to watch his shows and um, and I was uh, I was really late one night. I think I just had it on for, um, for, uh, you know, background noise to keep myself up or something. I think I was working on something and, um, he was painting the sunset and, um, he, uh, I looked outside and cause the sun was coming up and <laughs> it was like almost the perfect rendition of what was going on outside down to this exact same color, everything. I felt like, well, that's probably like what it's like to be like, you know, master of the universe, painting your canvas and having it show up in the sky. Um, so <laughs> it's taking a little while, but yeah, this is usually like um, a happy, uh, happy ending to something. It's having everything that you wish for. It's uh, seeing the whole spectrum of something, maybe the big picture. Um, so I'm going to do 10 brush strokes with this and let's see. Maybe I'm doing, I don't know, maybe it's going to be abstract, maybe it's going to be flowers, we'll see. My easel broke, and um, so I'm kind of having to make shift this. How many? I think it's about ten. <laughs> um, so I kind of liken this to um, I don't know what this is gonna be. Um, it's gonna feel like putting paint on the canvas. So we'll see. Um, I kind of. Like in this process to well wait till <laughs> the next card and so I have something to talk about. So this is a ton of cups and so it's like ending, it's completion, it's the between 
that comes next and could be the end of just some sort of stage in your um, emotional life because it's cups having to do with water. So, um, let's see. What next? Four of cups. I'm just going. Maybe I won't pull this little big deck. We'll see how long this goes. Um, so this is the Four of Cups. This could be like not listening or not hearing something, not paying attention. Sometimes it's just kind of like a, hey. Um, actually, that's what it's come through as a lot. Just like a, hey, what's up? Um, someone, or like taking a step back and um, seeing like, maybe I should take a step back, seeing the big picture of something again. Um, noticing something. So... Some blue and um, yeah, let's see. Um, this is like hard to talk and do this at the same time. Um, yeah. So, um, four of cups. So I really like this deck because it's art decoy and it's like all green. It's okay. What are we doing next? Um, maybe this will be like a sunset or something, who knows? Um, I feel like, once again, um, I feel like this is, uh, it's kind of like when you design a collection and you are, I mean, obviously you can't do every style in one collection or have a million different aesthetics going on, things like that. So, um, Knight of Swords. So, um, you kind of have to limit yourself. One time I did a collection that was just like all just different tones of gray. Um, <laughs> And so there's some sort of limit, some sort of uh, something that gives you a structure to work within. And um, similar to like, uh, same goes for like, if you are doing a collection that, I mean, for people that don't know, <laughs> um, you know, that has a bunch of vertical, uh, vertical lines, silhouettes, uh, seam lines, things like that. You kind of want to keep that consistent throughout. Um, in some way, uh, you're going with straight lines this time instead of like asymmetrical sort of zigzaggy lines. You know, it's just to keep some sort of, um, to give yourself structure and um, maybe this is the No, I think I'm just putting paint on the canvas. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for the Knight of Swords because that doesn't have a number. So, um, <laughs> this may not work at all. <laughs> um, Um, that is swords, Gemini, maybe. Um, and uh, Gemini, air sign. Um, Um, Gemini air sign, mutable, um, has maybe a lot to say. Um, I, oh, I was going to show people my, uh, cause I talk so much about my grandparents and it's, I think it's kind of funny cause, uh, well, uh, you can see even in, <laughs> I think these chairs are pretty common, but, um, uh, I just thought it was another little 
fun coincidence in the um, Pie by the Beach, Lana Del Rey song, when she opens the door, there's these same chairs there. Um, my grandparents, and my mom is very pretty there, young. Um, yeah, so, do I have like, some actual questions. This is like a message to you maybe. Um, you're coming from you, um, I mean. It's very like daggery. It's very like, not in every deck, but um, here it just looks very like focused, very, um, yeah, so it could just have a very direct, it could be like a direct message, a direct tweet or something like that. Um, something over the air, internet, uh, just has a lot to, maybe a lot of talking or um, whatever. Uh, maybe you just need to say something, say it like it is. Um, what color next? Tower. It's more orange. It's very orange. I wasn't, you know, orange isn't usually my like go-to color. So, um, interesting. The tower. The tower is. An intense card and it usually needs some sort of like disruption of something um, oh, it kind of looks like the wooden demon now um, but it's a big shake-up it is um, something that shakes up your world and changes um, how you look at something um, and it could be just something that's very intense too something that you do not see coming um, a surprise a big like um, big shake up it doesn't really have to be bad it can be um, something really good um, but just, it usually comes as a surprise. So, I don't know why I'm being, um, um, it's 16, which reduced down to a seven. So it could be something about breaking free of something blowing your mind. <laughs> Um, it comes through a lot as like just mind blown. Wow, that was awesome, like kind of thing. Um, but it could be like a small shakeup of um, finances, uh, or big something big like a you know um, crash or something, computer malfunction. Um, And uh, something, it's usually something unexpected. Uh, so, <laughs> this is interesting. Um, please, um, let's see. Four of Swords. Truce or just rest, uh, recuperation. Um, Finding it's some sort of balance because fours are balanced, so it's a rest in your mind, um, putting something to rest, uh, more so like um, I'm just right now. 
Um, sometimes it's like a tomb or just like taking like your bed or something. Yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this on my bed. Um, but uh, um. Don't want you to see this until uh, a little bit more done. Um, yeah, maybe I'm doing water. Um, like somebody. Um, let's just take taking a breather as something that uh, you know maybe you've been through a lot and you're just needing to like. Uh, recoup um four though four swords could be four letters in a word um <laughs> um, no, let's, let's um <laughs> kind of just looks like a mess right now oh. so i did get this like i think i mentioned it before A half hoop bearing it's actually like a sewing needle so that you can sew like on the dress form and like not you know sew onto the dress form you can kind of like clip so you get back out um but it's a little bit too big for my ear. um What's next? Um, this one a lot smoother in my head. Like, well, I'll just put one dab on the on the thing and like just keep going. <laughs> um, Four stores might be someone with four letters in their name. Um, just something uh, you need to think about, think over. You kind of need to think this over before I do it. But, you know, sometimes I feel like you can only think about things so much, you know, like, if it's not something you've ever done before, you just kind of need to dive right in, you know? Um, let me start over. I can always paint it over. Um, let's see. This is not what I was planning to do, so. <laughs> I kind of had an idea, but it's always a little different, you know? I love that show though with Bob, what's his name? <laughs> he makes everything look so easy and you're just like, nah, I could do that. And you can. I mean, it is. Looking at paintings, it's just, it is. It's just, you know, looking at a line and drawing it. I'm not drawing from anything right now, so it's a little bit more tricky, but um, yeah, I mean, anyone can, I think. And that's one of the reasons why it's pretty difficult for me to figure out, like, what to draw because, um, I've been trained to like be able to paint and work in like pretty much any medium and um, just different styles from illustration to realistic paintings to more cartoon kind of things to birds to you know um, yeah um, so uh, I never like wanted to like just stick with one one um, style because I've always felt like well there's if you can paint in all these different styles maybe you should use them all um but yeah I don't know I can never decide what to draw <laughs> mm. 
you know, it kind of needs to be some sort of mental challenge for me or something. Um, as far as like art stuff goes. Pretty colors. <laughs> um, Blue, Justice, eight or eleven. Um, so finding balance could be some sort of doorway, some sort of um, um Gateway, something like that. Um, when you say gateway, I mean like just any sort of opportunity that you can like walk through the door. It's also truth and like um, finding the truth and sticking to the truth and being, um, having the key to something, you know, like knowing something. Um, maybe I'm drawing a lake. Kind of very, um, just, what's his name? Um, so bad with names. You can always, like, see the painting or see their, like, style in my, uh, mind, but I can't remember their names. I also didn't, you know. But justice, yeah, it's like having some sort of truth. Some, something that, uh sort of truth. Could be the law, could be um, anything like that. Um, it could be Libra. Let's start over. <laughs> I don't think how this is going. Um, Kind of forgot about my like how many brush strokes thing. Um, now I need my studio thing. I need balance half, you know, half of something. Um, Needing to talk to someone, maybe a lawyer or something like that. Um, a lot of justice, a lot of like, um, maybe there's a Libra energy to start with. Who knows how many cards I'll pull. So, so maybe talking to a lot of air signs or um, um, Sometimes I feel like it's good to just throw paint down on the canvas and see what happens.
It's a lot of Gerhard Richter and uh, it's like photorealistic paintings. Obviously easier to draw when you, when you have something in front of you to draw from, but um, I feel like it always just depends on your mood, you know. Maybe you're in the mood to um, be more detail oriented or something, in which case I feel like realistic type work is easier to do, focus on. Um. <laughs> but justice, yeah, justice could just be, um, yeah, going to court maybe. Um, Laying down the law. <laughs> um, maybe you feel like you need to lay down the law. Um, law of the land or something. Um, um, Maybe your word is as good as like, yeah, maybe your word is law or something like your word, you really, you keep your word. Maybe something surprised you. There's two fours. And uh, ton of cups. Could be just some sort of like everything working out consulted someone on something that you were wondering, worried about. Um, I feel like I have to let it dry <laughs> so far because so I've been being over it. Yeah. Um, this little background sort of water horizon sort of getting there. <laughs> um, so maybe I will just pull some other cards. Um, I really didn't think this <laughs> So, um, we'll pull, while this dries a little bit, so I'll move on. I will pull uh, some from this deck for you. Um, it feels very far away. Um, yeah, so, again, thanks for being here, <laughs> and I'm glad that this is of interest to you, and maybe it'll inspire you to, um, paint a little bit yourself or something, just, you know? <laughs> so, um, what do people need to know, um, do people need to be aware of? Or what is there to look forward to? General energies. Um, that's the seven of pentacles. So looking over something. Um, <laughs> I'm even like, is someone, you know, like I, anyways, um, seven though. This is that like money doesn't grow in trees, harvesting, like meta art, looking back, taking a step back, um, waiting for the right time to do something, to work on something. Maybe you've worked a lot on, on it and uh, you wondering how much longer, you know, <laughs> um, is now good. So um, I feel like it's like patience though, mainly just patience. You need to have a lot of patience and you're working really hard on something. Could be um, seven days, seven weeks, seven months, maybe that number is important to you, or something having to do with earth energies, um, just something looking like looking over 
just looking over what you've done, where you've been, what you've been doing, um, looking over a review, let's say like life reviews, or seventh stage, alchemical process, like a return to Eden. That's why I was going to do flowers, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, return to Eden. Um, the tower, again. And the fool. There, but this is what popped up, so that's tower again. Two towers, 16. Um, reducing down to seven, so it could also be like the seventh house. Um, but again, I'm just talking about the seventh stage, so maybe that's uh, important where we're at kind of right now. Um, to try to explain like cycles, I mean, it's you know, these smaller cycles and larger cycles. You can kind of think of things as like um, the planets and the the closer planets, and um, how you could go around this alchemical cycle very quickly. Um, but then it can also be spread out and cover more of a general sort of major shifts, macro shifts. So you can just see how they apply to you. Um, the playlist is a little bit more having to do just with, um, I always start with love or just relationships. I feel like it's an easy way to understand something. Um, maybe like your psyche of like things, reasons why this one thing moves to the next, or it's just like a good reference, like to start with a relationship, um, love, romance kind of look at it. But so I think I'm going to make some other playlists that have to do with, um, just the different society, um, sociological, um, psychological, planetary uh, playlists, because uh, there's like a lot of imagery in each stage, so kind of breaking them apart, almost like the air, fire, um, the different elements, but, um, but throwing something out maybe, maybe even maybe even working on something a long time, you're just like, the advice is to don't throw the baby out with the bath water kind of thing. So, um, be like a shock, shocked at like something having to do with time maybe, um, I almost feel like this happened in the past and this person's looking, thinking about it while he's at work, just sort of like daydreaming in a way. So maybe you're just thinking over a lot of things, um, thinking a lot over, it's really shocking. And like, maybe it has something to do with that, what I put in the playlist um, or the, the descriptions because it is quite interesting when you can see like I mean, I, I almost take um, every word that could possibly apply in that stage, like, that I hear going on and as little markers. Sometimes I feel like that's like a marker, um, like growth, you know? Um, and see how, you know, to give you an indication of where things are at right now. Or, um, yeah, so um, there's so many examples. Maybe I should go through it. I don't know. The Knight of um, Pentacles here. So second night that's popped out tonight. I don't know if it has to do with that since I was more based for just colors. But um, this could be bringing something. I feel like he's a farmer or something, you know. Um, whatever these coins represent to you. And he's on his way, like, in transit, bringing one of these that he plucked, <laughs> um, harvested, whatever, you know, um, whatever he's been working on, bringing it somewhere, maybe it's like a good surprise or something, um, This is very like upheaval energy and this is both of these are very like sturdy stable 
slow moving, um, thoughtful, I think. So, um, you might be seven years. Um, so yeah, maybe it was seven years. Um, you've been working at something for seven years. Um, I think of this as more work. Um, and maybe you find something out that just kind of blows your mind. Um, surprise, it could be a firing, something like that. Maybe you're thinking back to when you were fired or Together they have to be five, so that's some sort of change. Um, changing like angle or something, um, changing things up, changing things around. Maybe your schedule, maybe your weekly schedule or something is being changed around. Um, kind of throwing things off balance or something. Um, what else? Just be like, I also kind of get this feeling of like you're going along steadily, you know, everything's kind of been fine, you know, it's like normal, average return, maybe. Um, this can also mean like growth, return, investment, your time and your energy. Um, and so uh, everything's kind of like expected and just sort of um, as usual. And then there's some sort of like something that could just sometimes it's even like pops out for like an engine backfiring or something like that. So maybe even just like checking your engine since this is like this person's in transit or like checking your wheels or something, you know, um, make sure you have enough air and your tires or something. If maybe you're bike riding or something, um, this could mean like some sort of crash. see what else for other clarity for the knight of pentacles so it could be a earth sign um knight of pentacles seven of pentacles and the tower I also almost feel like, because you can take a lot of these things out of context, like some sort of building. This person's up here looking down and this person's like driving by. Um, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, some sort of, uh, it's just kind of like a shock. You're bumping into someone maybe after work too. Um, the justice card popped out again. Along with the Eight of Pentacles and it's going to be like work, uh, work bench, work, after work. I feel like the high priestess and justice, you know, they're kind of in a way parallels. They hold the key to what's on the other side. Um, key to the law of justice or something, you know, power to put someone away. She has the keys and the knowledge for the other side and um, all this esoteric knowledge. So, um, and it's 211. 11. Um, working your way through something. Also, like some sort of like. Well, the scales of justice, too. Um, that's in one of the stages. I think. 
so much imagery. So, um, I just feel like he's working on his stuff. Like, he's the one that makes the sword and the crown and the um, scales. Like, maybe um, like welding or something. That was a three of wands, a sort of yes or some sort of like yes answer or uh, waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for uh, things to come back that you've sent out. Maybe like somebody would feel like this is like just sending out like your resume or something like just working through and this is what your inbox looks like, you know, one email after another, just, just kind of like, um, hammering them out. Um, and now you're waiting for some like confirmation, some uh, yes answer, something that, um, helps you get to the other side, helps you to like, I just want to say like um like landscape landscaping and um even she's sitting in front and you can see in the background I also think of shadows too um like uh just yeah it's in between two uh light and dark there's water in the background so maybe landscaping and you know, it's it's funny. The last little painting I did do was a landscape um, beach um, with the colors that I chose. And this was like a year ago, but and again, I hadn't like seen any of these videos, so it's just interesting that in in um, Fuji's ready or not um, in um, oh my gosh. Um, um, it's a Lana Del Rey song and it's in the supplementary playlist and um, anyways um, just totally blanking on the name right now but um, yeah it and a few other videos too and just a, actually in a few other places. I don't remember now, but because um, all these things like happen, a, you know, over a period of time, and sometimes I don't take notice of it right away because it's the first time it's happened, so I don't write it down. But um, yeah, the painting, the colors, uh, you can even like, you can see it in all the different videos. It's like interesting. Um, I also want to see like what's between or like book ending something, you know, book ending a project or the work day with something. Um, just working your way through, paying attention to details and um, working your way up the ladder. Um, Well, it's, it's interesting that justice and it's popped up twice now and 33 maybe two um anyways so Cards meant to fall out. Um, let's see what else I need to know. Vera Temperance. So, I need 
building bridges, um, mending something. Um, and I feel like this is, you know, could apply to anyone like, you know, sewing crafts, arts and crafts, things like that. Um, baking, cooking, things of have to do with the kitchen, pouring things back and forth. Um, serenity piece, things like that. It could mean having people like branching off at work. We have a lot of work things and um, Yeah, it's like a tree here, signpost. Um, some sort of epiphany, maybe. Um, but again, 14, 5. These numbers are important to you. Um, temperance is about balance and harmony, and um, Queen of Wands. So, um, someone who's just very creative, very, um, however that comes out, you know, everything they do is kind of maybe a little bit, um, there's just life to it. Um, maybe Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and actually the sun, the sun is in Sagittarius, and moon's in Aries. I feel like when that happens, from my own experience, it's like very overzealous or aggressive almost behavior. Just like just so much fire, um, you know. Um, we are outgrowing something, We've outgrown. Um, current position at work and you're looking for more of a challenge, you're looking over things, what is it that you really want to do, um, or do you, uh, what do you really care about, what is your, two queens here, three, earth and fire, um, kind of opposites, um, It's always like looking down, looking over something. Um, looking at your work, looking at something from a different point of view. Um, sometimes I feel like you get so focused on it, you know, and you have an idea of what you want something to look like, and then it uh, doesn't look like that, and it's frustrating, and then you come back to it later, and you're like, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> um, ten of Swords. They're ten, so Horizon crossing over and done with something. Maybe something's done and over, and you're just ready to be done with it. Um, I'm done with work. I'm looking something up. Deciding which way to go. Um, maybe which route to take on your way home, or what's new, what's going on in the neighborhood, things like that. It's some sort of choice, something having to do with um, something having to do with um, seeing the big picture again. Um, inspiration just taking care of again like earth reality daily life um nourishing things five senses or just um yeah uh, pouring something back into the 
No, I just thought of Botany Pond, um, which is a little pond <laughs> um, near Bridge, Chicago. And I don't know, it kind of always reminds me of that. Um, just makes me think of science and um, I persisted pop out and um, it's almost it's like a star wreath. Something about the stars. Um, star, star line, maybe with the four of swords from earlier. Um, like a boat or something, you know. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. So the star, though, 17s is also like, what do you, um, what, what replenishes you? What um, gives you some sort of inspiration or motivation? Um, the tree of life is in the background here too, I think. Um, so all that's in the trees and um, looking for higher guidance, looking for guidance, looking for instruction too, sometimes I think of um, inspiration to hit you. I feel like when you have those epiphanies that like you're just kind of like, oh my gosh, I, I had this even, it, it feels very much like something's being dumped, <laughs> some water is being dumped on your head, some invisible water and it kind of like pours down into you. I don't know if it's happened to anyone else, but it's happened to me a few times. And in that moment, everything sort of makes sense. Um, whatever it is you're working on or some sort of new epiphany, but like you see the bigger picture, you see how everything works together. You see the, um, it's just like knowing how something works, something, um, comes together and knowing something be so factual, so truthful, so, um, real as if it's like right in front of you, it's like, think of like an invention or something. It's oh, right in front of you. You know how to even use it. Um, but it only, that epiphany kind of only lasts for a few minutes, um, if that, a few moments sometimes, and you kind of are left with that image in your, your mind of, of what it is or what it could be. It's like piecing together a dream kind of, um, puzzle pieces, and then you have to go back and like figure out what it is that, how that works or why that would work and, you know, um, but it's so real, it kind of almost, it definitely feels like just someone's just pouring a bottle of water over your head and it it's so real <laughs> that you get that pit in your stomach where you're like, well now I have to do something about this because it's so real, like almost like that crap, like now it's up to me or something, you know, like what am I gonna do with this, you know? <laughs> I'm not a scientist. Um, but that's what I feel it feels like. Um, in the star, Aquarius, maybe the 11th house, Justice came up a bunch. Um, which, um, I don't know why I just said that. Because um, it's usually Libra of 7th house, but um, um, again, it's kind of like a gateway to, I have like triple gateways. <laughs> maybe more, I don't know, but definitely in the seventh house of like, um, yeah, Jupiter and Aquarius. So even like amplifying that, um, that gateway, <laughs> opening the door, um, the doorway to get information, to get, um, help, inspiration from a higher source, a guiding light, things like that. Um, it's your hopes, your wishes, things for the future too. So maybe you're working on something toward in the future. You work on something some more later on. Um, I just want to say close up shop for today or something. So I actually might do that because it's already 54 minutes and maybe I'll continue this in another video. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.